Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people, including myself, am li really looking forward to seeing, of course, when it comes to Episode 9, is the first set of footage of this movie in the form of a teaser trailer. Now, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm have a teaser all stored and ready to drop for Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. However, when it comes to the teaser trailer, what is rather upsetting is that they are changing their format and their overall approach to the actual trailer itself in order to adjust to some of the reshoots that are actually in place and some of the script rewrites and adjustments for Episode 9 in order to market it the right way, adjusting to the actual finalized version of the movie. So I don't know about you guys, but to me, this is rather upsetting and a bit of a letdown because this also implies that there will be a further delay in the release of the teaser trailer of Star Wars Episode 9. Now, the thing here is this. A lot of people are starting to wonder if there is really a lot of uncertainty over at Lucasfilm and Disney and whether or not they really do have a lot of confidence in themselves on releasing anything related to Episode 9 in order to gain the trust of Star Wars fans. Because we do know that a lot of people are still very much upset with what happened with The Last Jedi and how things are really going within the sequel trilogy. So for them to change their format of the teaser and to change their approach to the overall footage of episode 9 in order to adjust to some of the reshoots and some of the script adjustments in place in order to have it pretty much synchronized with the finalized version of the movie that will be the theatrical release of episode 9 come December 19th of this year. I think is something that tells us that Disney really just doesn't have a clue of exactly what they are doing on point here. So I think that what they're trying to do is they're really trying to adjust everything in order for it to really match up with what we are truly going to get in the finalized version of the movie. Now, I don't think it's gonna be a large delay. I think it's gonna be a small delay for episode nine further. It might be like a week or two at most, but I don't think it's gonna be anything that significant. But if we look at everything that has been happening with Star Wars as a whole, there is a lot of uncertainty. You know, I don't know if you guys heard about the open world Star Wars video game that was also just canceled by EA. Uh, just just a couple of days ago, you can really see how the Star Wars franchise, a lot of things just pretty much just keep on changing. Everything is on board and on point and pretty much in the works. And then the next day or two, you know, things are being shifted around or canceled or whatnot. I mean, we saw this with the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, the Boba Fett film, and 10 years worth of standalone films just completely thrown in the trash, all because of the solo Star Wars story box office results. And if you look at everything that has been going on with episode nine, like I say, I do still have a lot of trust within J.J. Abrams. I do still have a lot of faith within him. And I think that the teaser really does have to be an important piece in their marketing in order to really kind of draw in the fans to go ahead and see this movie come December of this year. So they're just being careful. They're playing it really safe right now. I mean, they are really going to the next level right now to play it safe when it comes to the first footage of episode nine. Because Disney and Lucasfilm, they know how crucial it really is in order to make the fans happy and really love what they are seeing firsthand. You know, like I say, if people don't really like the first trailer or the teaser, that's when people actually lose hope in what's actually coming out of this actual movie that will complete the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself. Now, not only that, this could also have something to do with how episode nine is now going to build towards something larger and actually create a future of Star Wars films, which is giving us a hint that this movie may very well actually not end on an open note. So it may very well, or should I say it will open on, it will end on an open note because they're building towards something bigger and larger that'll actually create a future of Star Wars spin-offs and trilogies or whatever they wanna do. Hinting that this movie is not going to be the last when it comes to war conflicts, chronologically speaking. So 
And I don't know about you guys, but if we look at episode 9 as a whole, the teaser really is everything. If you look at The Force Awakens, I was wowed by that teaser. I don't know about you guys, but for the first time at that point in time in 2015, it was 10 years since we saw any footage of a new Star Wars movie. You know, seeing the Falcon, seeing this new villain with the cross guard lightsaber, uh, seeing a stormtrooper out of breath, <laughs> hearing Snoke's voice, everything was just on point and amazing, and it really captured me, and it really got me invested into the hype of The Force Awakens, and what could possibly come after that. So, for Disney and Lucasfilm to change the format of everything, it is both good and bad in my opinion. You know, it's bad in a sense because a lot of people are really eager to see some footage of Episode 9 ASAP, as soon as possible, and this is only going to make things come later rather than sooner. On the good hand here, this could honestly turn out to be better because they're looking in order to really match this up with the finalized version of the movie and some of the reshoots that are planned and of course some of the rewrites and adjustments in the script. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.